Hi, my name is Anna Stoyanova. And here we go. So imagine this. It's the last week of finals. And you've partied the summer away. You've partied the week away. You've partied the weekend away. You have not studied whatsoever. Now you have three finals all in the same week. And you have 24 hours to study for them. And you can't study because you're panicking. You're just too scared. You know? And something in your body is just not comprehending anything. And then all of a sudden you get that text. Oh, Adderall's on deck and your face lights up like a Christmas tree. You get so excited, you know? Oh, here's my uh, here's my um, savior. Now this now these tests are gonna be a piece of cake. But I bet you never thought to yourself that by taking this pill that you're abusing a prescription pill. Prescription pills. And I bet you've never thought of the dangers that this can cause to you. Uh, prescription pills can be abused in many different ways. Some people, uh, some people take the drugs for their intended purpose, to relieve pain, to stay awake, to fall asleep. Others take it to get high in, la in larger doses or in different administration of... Uh, most, most prescriptions come in uh, a pill or a capsule form. Abusers, most abusers usually break or crush the pill or the capsule and s swallow or sniff it. Some even go to the point of cooking it, which is making it into liquid and then injecting it into their body. What's wrong with abusing prescription pills? Well, for one thing, the form and the dose. When uh, when abused, prescriptions may be taken in inappropriate doses or in routes of admission that change the way the drugs act on the body. When people who abuse oxycodone, also known as oxycodone, crush and inhale a pill, a 12-hour uh, a 12-hour dose hits the uh, central nervous system all at once, uh, increasing increasing the risk of addiction and an overdose. Prescription drugs are designed to treat particular illness or conditions, but they often have other, other effects in the body known as side effects. Oxyco Oxycontin stops pain but also causes constipation and drowsiness and slows down breathing. Stimulants such as Adderall increase the tension but also rise blood pressure and heart rate. These side effects can be made worse when prescription drugs are not taken as prescribed or abused in combination with other substances like alcohol or other prescription drugs, and even some, and even some over-the-counter drugs like cold medicines. Uh, this kind of, like cold medicines, can. Uh, For an instant, people who take Valium and alcohol, both. Uh, both things that slow down breathing. This combination can stop breathing altogether, requiring uh, intensive care, or even worse. Medication, medications that affect the brain can change the way, the way it functions, especially when they're taken rapidly or in larger doses. They can alter uh, the reward system, making it harder to feel good without the drug and it can lead to intense craving and making it hard to stop. This is no different from what can happen to someone taking illegal drugs. And an addiction is a real possibility. Other things these uh, drugs can cause are withdrawals. Taking the drugs repeatedly over a period of time can cause changes in the body, whereas whereas the brain resulting in a physical dispense different from an addiction. The body adapts to the drug and pursues when it's and pursues when it's in use, shortly stopping the person can shortly stopping the person can experience withdrawals. With withdrawal systems depends on the drug itself. For for example, opiates can include uh, nausea, chills, vomiting, muscle pains, and diarrhea. How do these drugs affect the body? Opiates can attach to a specific pro, uh, potent 
called opiate receptors found in the brain, spinal cord, digestive tract, and other organs. When opiate, when opiate drugs attach to, uh, to these receptors, they can weaken the awareness of pain. They also affect areas of the brain that deal with pleasure, which is, which is why they are often abused and very addictive. Opiates can cause drowsiness um, and physical dependence with the, repeat, with the repeated use or abuse. An overdose can cause breathing, can cause breathing to slow down, down enough to cause death. Central nervous system depressants slow down the activity of the brain. Central nervous system depressants are also um, Xanax and Valium and whatnot. These drugs increase the, uh, the activity of the gamma amino nitric acid, also known as GABA, a chemical that prevent a chemical in the brain that pre, uh, prevents the activity of other brain cells. When GABA is increased, people can feel drowsiness or calm, uh, or in a calm, calm effect. People helpful to those suffering from anxiety or this uh, disorder, or sleeping disorders. CNN depressants also uh, work by slowing the brain, the brain's activity, stopping their use suddenly after a long-term use can cause seizures because the brain becomes uh, overactive. Stimulants have chemicals uh, structures that are similar to, to certain key brain neuro neurotransmitters, the chemicals that allow nerve cells to send messages to each other. Stimulants increase the levels of these chemicals in the body and the brain. This no, no, we're going to have to ask you to complete it. You're going over seven minutes at this point. Oops. So if you can get to your conclusion, please. Okay, sorry. Um, the reason that prescriptions are intended to be taken under the direction of a doctor is if, if used improperly can be very dangerous. People are making the decisions to abuse prescription medicines based on the mis misinformation. In fact, many people think that abusing prescription drugs is safer than abusing illegal, uh, illegal drugs. As the facts will tell you, prescription drugs have, have a dangerous and short and long-term consequences. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we want to do it between five and six minutes, okay? Okay. Uh, was that part of your speech? That was. Oh, that was I I didn't, I, all I saw was the title. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. You didn't put it up. Okay, yeah. all right. Anna, what, 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 what would you say about this presentation? I was really nervous. And it yeah. was way too long. It was way too long. And, and what, what else do you think you need to work on for next time? Uh, 